Make a motion to open the meeting for Situate Board of Health, Monday, July 30th, Selectman's Chamber, Town Hall, 6 p.m. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, first items, uh, discuss and vote, septic design hearing, 127 and Vinyl Road, Morris in Engineer Engineering Company, representing homeowner request for insulation of septic, requiring local upgrades and variances. I just want to state name and for the record, my name is Gregory Morse, I'm a registered engineer with Morse Engineering. Um, this is a septic system upgrade project at 127 and Vinyl Road. This plan was before the board back in May, um, seeking several local upgrade approvals. Uh, it was approved by this board. In June, we went to Conservation Commission. As a result of the conservation meetings, we made a couple of plan changes, and uh, we're back in front of you because the local upgrade approval requests have, have slightly changed from what you originally proposed in May. Overall, it's generally the same plan. This is a two-bedroom house uh, located here, and Vinyl Road is at the front of the property. Uh, there are wetlands along the back of the house. There's a cesspool located at the back of the house right now, which fails a Title V inspection. Our proposal was to put a new septic system in the front yard. Uh, right now, the front yard here, this is a, a gravel driveway area. Um, what we're proposing to do is we're proposing to put in a new septic tank, a new pump chamber, and then a uh, leaching chamber bed. The changes that um, were a result of a Conservation Commission meeting. We rerouted the water service from the south side of the property over to the north side of the property. We also added a um, gravel trench here along the side of the property. This was due to an abutter concern with drainage. Um, as you can see, the swale here has spot grades which direct any water from flowing off the property onto the abutters. They direct water toward the back of the property. Um, but the local upgrade approvals here are listed on the plan um, going through them. Uh, starting at the top, it was a reduction from a 10-foot setback to 7-foot setback between the septic tank and the pump chamber to the property line. Uh, seven foot's the distance between those two tanks and the lot line. Secondly, it was to allow a reduction from 10 feet to 7 feet between the soil absorption system in the property line. The setback is right here. Thirdly, it was to allow a reduction from 20 feet to 14 feet between the soil absorption system and the foundation of the house 14 feet long. Next was to allow a reduction from 5 foot required to 3 feet proposed between the drain swale and the septic tank and pump chamber. Here's that gravel trench swale. Uh, it's located a minimum of 3 feet off of the tanks. Both tanks here are what we call monolithic tanks. They're poured um, with one set of one set of concrete. They're watertight tanks. They don't leak. Uh, the fifth local upgrade was to allow a reduction from 10 feet to 3 feet between the septic tank and pump chamber to the water service line. Uh, this bold line here represents the new water service that will be installed. It's 10 feet from the soil absorption system but there was no way to keep it 10 feet from the tank. So it's three feet. It is called out to be sleeved. The sixth request was to allow a sieve analysis to be performed in place of the perk test. When we did soil testing, the groundwater was high. Um, we had to perform a sieve analysis. It was too saturated to actually perform a perk test at the site. Uh, the board, again, had approved these local upgrades in May with the exception of the water service to the tanks. Um, we had originally asked for water service to the soil absorption system as a setback, so that was a change. And then the next local upgrade was the distance from the gravel trench to the tanks. That wasn't proposed back in May. That was added as a result of conservation. This is not new construction. This is a house that um, would likely not be built today. This is in a tough area. Uh, Soil-wise, it's in a tough area wetland-wise, but there's an existing house there, an existing failed system, and we're trying to do our best to bring it into compliance. Okay. Any concerns? Everything was uh, taken care of. Yep. 
it's an important, I, I get it, it's a tough lot. And it's, it's, uh, you can't do anything with it. It's a sure one, right? Yeah. As a retaining wall on all four sides of the system, uh, it's located in an area that's in the front yard and around the driveway right now. It's further away from the weapons than what exists today. Conservation has signed off on it. Okay, so there was no, uh, the wetland line is the wetland line in front of There's no, okay. Correct. I think that was our concern. Yeah, and there's the, the, there's the one up here. The opposite um, side. Right, the opposite side to the east side. Right, so that one's right. Gotcha. I know we have anyone on the 127 hand vinyl. On the other side. Okay. He's on one side. Mr. Moore, I have a question. My Can you state your name and address? Steve Coons, 129 and 1. Sure. Uh, my cellar yeah. windows are six feet above the ground level, adjacent to the six system. Six inches. Six inches. Six inches above the ground. Do you have the capability of remediating if I have fecal coliform and other bacteria and whatever it is leaking into my cellar from the system? Do you have the capability to come and remediate that? Yes or no? I need to know where the fecal coliform is coming from, number one. Let's see. There's a septic system going within four feet of my cellar windows. As you look, my property sits four and three feet off the property line. How far is that wall going to be from my property? Can you just go ahead, grab the little How far is it? The septic tank. How far is the wall that you're building? All right. Adjacent Let, to he's, he's getting you the answers. Fine. Okay. Mr. Chairman, the septic tank is located a minimum of 11 feet from this foundation. The requirement for Title V is 10 feet. The soil absorption system from this foundation is located a distance of 28 feet from this foundation, the Title V requirement is 20 feet. It does comply with Title V requirements for setbacks to your foundations. Excuse me. Well, I have a problem, you will remediate it, correct? Right? Mr. Moore? I, I, I have a question. No, I just have a question. Will it be remediated? But I mean, it's meeting all the requirements. I'm not I, asking that. I'm asking, will well, it be if I, if I have, If I have all that leaking into my cellar, will it be remediated by voice engineer? I have a question. Can you just say I, yes I would, or no? No, I would not be remediating. Oh, you will? Okay. If you have a problem, I would expect that you would contact the Board of Health and appropriate measures would be taken. And, and then what? We would seek action against voice engineering? Is that where we're going? We, I, I'm he, not here to discuss potential. Not, okay. Thank right. you for your time. Um, I follow me, but is, is the... Um, Can you state your name and address? I'm Paul Mendez. I live on 120 by your mile, which is on the other side. Okay. Um, I have a couple of questions. And, uh, um, I, I thought, uh, I, I looked at it in my, in my phone, I think the setback tracks uh, is it 10 feet away from the property line or is it 10 feet from the foundation? There's different setbacks. Septic systems are required to be 10 feet from the foundation. They're also required to be 10 feet from the property line. Property line. I, I got, you know, I said, you need two words. I get the phone. I have the, I have the, um, the app, the, well, whatever it is. Uh, it's, 10, it's 10 feet from the property line. I, I, I have it. I, I agree. I've stated that. I'm okay, proposing why do you think it's over 10 feet to his property? On the foundation, it's not. It's from a property line. It's ten feet, especially with the. Uh, You're correct. It's ten feet I from a. It it's okay. ten feet from a property line to right. a septic system. Right. What I've proposed is I've proposed a distance of seven feet from the septic system to a property line. Mm -hmm. The abutter's house is not on the property line, as mm -hmm. he indicated. It is set onto his property, so there is a different setback from a septic system to a foundation. That distance is 10 feet, and that does come by the same okay, uh, On my side, what is that? Three feet, is that? Oh, wait, seven, seven feet from the septic system to the property line. Seven feet? Okay, so you're going to go seven feet from my from that property line. Um, that's where the wall is supposed to be? No, the wall itself is located two feet from your property line. The septic system is five, uh, sorry, seven feet from the property line. Um, you're saying that there's no wetlands on that side either, right? I understand that you had permitted a project with a wetland at the front of your property. Right. 
I also understand that that wetland has either been filled or altered and has been removed from the property. The Conservation Commission went out and did a detailed study of this. Conservation has approved and confirmed that a wetland does not exist in this property. Does that look like wetland to you? <laughs> Wetland. Is that a big puddle on the property line? Puddles are not wetlands construction. Uh, that, every time it rains, that, that fills right there. Okay? And, uh, if you and we, we saw those. Right. But if conservation's been out there. Conservation, what, what happened was, uh, I, I appealed that the, their decision was. Um, okay. Okay. Now, if you look at these two, these are, these are the wetland marks. And I know you probably saw those. Yeah, we, we saw all those I pitches those the last ones. time. Okay. Right. Okay, I was going to ask him a question. What kind of plants are these? Are they wetland plants? I'm not a botanist, sir. No, 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 they, well, I, I are they on your lawn? Yes, they're on my lawn. So do you know what they were planted? Huh? Or you no. planted them? No. Oh. Those are wetland plants. So that they grow wild. So that's why when the uh, wetland guy came down, he marked them, and that's how he found, them, found out that those are wetlands. Those plants only grow on wetlands. But who who came down and marked? The um, my fact the same the same um, person that uh, was the you know what I mean? Oh, I just want to be uh, the wetland guy that, that marks out the wetlands. I forget his name. What is it? You must have a name, right? Uh, we had our wetlands delineated by Brad Holmes, who's a professional that's wetland scientist. That's Aside that's from seeing one or two plants in a turf lawn area, there are several other factors that go into the delineation of wetlands. There's hydrology factors, soil factors, and vegetation. When so you see vegetation like you this, when you, when you look at vegetation like this, you have to look at three different levels. You look at the shrub story, you look at the canopy, you look at more than just one or two plants located in a turf grass area. Um, again, conservation has approved the wetland line in this book. Okay, well, they, they approved the wetlands. Okay, now, I, now, what about the 10 foot marker line? Uh, you're only, you say you're seven feet away from my property, but you're not seven feet because you said it's, how, how close is that small wall going to be to my house, to my property line? The septic system is seven feet from your property line, and that's what brings me before this floor. The wall associated with the septic system is two feet off of the property line. Two feet off the property line. There's no required to identify how the walls. Well, maybe this. So, Title V has a series of setback requirements. Right. And those setback requirements are associated with distances between tanks and foundations, tanks, property lines, um, beaching areas, property lines. This board and me as an agent are required to review a plan to make sure that it requires those setbacks. And if the setbacks aren't met, that's what brings an engineer or a sanitarian before the board to ask for a reduction in accordance with the state regulations. The state regulations allow for um, a board to make a decision to reduce those based on a priority list in Title V. The setbacks do not include a distance between a wall and a property line. It's only the leaching field area and the property line and the tanks and the property line. So that's that's what is being discussed here. Because there is no setback requirement to a wall, this board cannot make a determination that that would not be acceptable. All right. Um, now, I've got. Uh, to be honest with you, like, I do have a consultant, um, I don't know if you're mostly guys by know, his name's uh, Fitzgerald, Tim Fitzgerald. He couldn't make it this evening. And, uh, and he told me a few things, and to be honest, I don't really remember too much, but number one, this is going to stop the cease on the property. There's a, there's a cease and desist yeah. order associated with demolition and or construction to the structure itself through the building department. That is a completely separate issue than installation of a septic system. Those are two different Just jurisdictions right. by two different departments and boards. And wouldn't it be more like they like were saying to me, it's like if you, when you build a home like this one, especially if you're not locking the house down, you can only go, uh, the value of the house, 50% of the value of the house. So that's the jurisdiction of the building department. 
Correct. Now, why would they be worried about the sucker tank when they get a cease and desist where they, 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 can't, even, they can't get an engineer to, to do the plans yet? And they're gonna be, if they do, they're going to spend a lot more than $150,000. So, there, I think there's a little there, man. He, he explained it to me. I really, you know what I told him, I, I, I called him on the phone. You know, I'm not really good for it, but I will tell you that I don't, they will be exceeding over their $150,000. And, and that's not the jurisdiction of the Board of Health right. or this particular um, setting. Those are all building department questions and building department answers. I believe, you know, that they well, would I mean, potentially I, I, go before zoning. I, we we right. can't, this board can't, can't rule that, right. on things associated with the building. Okay, well, 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 I'm saying that he's seven feet away from the, from the prop, from, uh, he's saying that he's seven feet away from the, what he calls the disaster variance. And I don't, I really don't, and I, I really don't think that you guys would be all Conservation's already gone out with the wetlands and all that. So if they felt no, that no, they're- I'm not saying if it's wetlands, even if it wasn't wetlands. I mean, do you, I mean, do you really think, where would you think that water's gonna go? I guess my question is, what are you, are you worried about the safety of your property oh, or what? Okay, so um, I can just say that you know this plan is is made to you know ensure that nothing's getting into the groundwater. The whole basis of this whole thing is to make sure that everybody's protected. So you know this is safer than ever. This this was your same neighbor with that system in the back. So that was more risky than where you would be today. It, it's, it's, it's not, I mean, it did. I, I, I'm going to tell you something, you guys. If this goes through, there's, gonna, there's no, the whole walk back of that house just fills up with water. Yeah. water this water right here yeah. will not, if it goes back, it, it can't go back there. And that's what they're trying to tell us, that this water, whatever is on the side here, on the side of the property, they're going to bring it back and go on the side of his house, and they're going to bring it back yeah. to the outside. That water fills up about two feet anyway, so it's not gonna have no place to go. So it's just gonna, it's just gonna sit there. And like, what happens? If, what happens if all that water sits there? What, what happens then? What happens if my my my, my, kid, my grandkids get sick? Well, this I mean, system this contains system. all the bacteria and the things that you guys no, are talking about. Bacteria, yeah. Not from the system, yeah, just, just groundwater. Sitting water. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the ducks, the ducks stay. The ducks is hang. The ducks is hang there as it is now. Never yeah. Mind. Don't mind where but I guess my question would be and just saying that water just didn't happen because what they've did, done in this house demolition you've had that water before anyone ever bought this property properly uh, no I didn't not really because to be honest with you the people they filled in a bunch of stones here so what they did and it's still not high enough because the, 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 the water still sits there there's, there's no well, but I, I mean, it's just, but it's, it, it is going to get worse. And the only thing is, you know something? I, I mean, granted, it's my side, my dad. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be putting a uh, probably 10 foot fence up there, anyways. Yeah. But um, that's beside the point, then I'm not sure. I mean, if it's not weapons, you guys are telling me it's not weapons, they're talking about that No, well, I'll we, be that too. we're not telling, it's conservation saying that it's not, it's wetlands back here and on the other side of the road, not where you're saying. And with what they're going to do, it will pipe it back here on the wetlands, on his side, not yours. Because that fills up with water. I'm, I'm just asking the question. Maybe I'm actually asking you, if that fills up with water, say, in three feet, what happens then? From what, I, from what I heard earlier, you said that this site already fills up with water by at least not just two feet almost, which puts it above his windows. Looking, at the, looking at the elevations here, the elevation in the front yard, for example, is at elevation 7.4. The bottom of our septic system um, is up at elevation 9, 9.4. So we're already up two feet to the bottom of our septic system. So to answer your question, if there's two feet of water in front of this property, the septic system is still above that. It's well, not it's in the water. Okay. So, so be above, I, the septic tank will be above. What, what I'm saying right. is all this water that comes out in the springtime, um, they've already filled here. And as you can see too. Yeah, when we designed this, we also- I don't put two feet of water up the street. Huh? 
it would it would flood the whole no, area. No, no, it does. And, 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 and what I what we did specifically with this here is we did not bring the grade out. That's on a good day. That's, that's Mr. Mendes, one, one person speaking. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, yeah. Just try to understand what he's saying to you is just under, he's talking about height. So just right. understand so what. Specifically, when we designed this retaining wall, which goes around the septic system, we purposely did not include it tying into the house. The purpose would be that you'd have free flow of water around this system. The system isn't holding back, it's not diverting in new ways. Water that would be flowing perhaps from the Mendez property across into the wetlands in the back or onto the, the Coombs property still has the ability to pass between the septic and the house and still has the ability to pass between the septic and the street. We specifically didn't run the wall out and tie it into the foundation of the street and make rent. It was to allow for the free flow of passage. And that, that was the result of comments that you made at the conservation. So we've made plan changes as a result of that. So how, how I, I is the fact that we didn't see it done. So what, what, you know, where is this water? Is this water going to go? Yeah, show them that there's, yeah, it, there's it, two so, trails. So it, it goes to a crushed stone trench right here, which is a swale, to the back of the property, to the left. It starts right here. It goes right up to the back. Greg, can you explain to Mr. Mendez what a swale is? Hmm. Well, a swale is an area that gets graded down. Actually, I have a little section right here. So you have the ground surface along the lot line, and it slopes into this property and then from the middle of this property it slopes in toward the swale and then the swale itself oh. it creates a v and that v is then depicting the water traveling this way toward the wetland and the path um, underneath that swale we're proposing a crushed stone trench um, so water would be flowing not only over the surface in the swale but it would also flow through that crushed stone toward the back of the pond. How deep is the trench, Mr. Morse? Sure. It's a foot deep of crushed stone. It has six inches of pea stone on top. A foot deep, did you just say? Yeah. A foot deep of crushed stone. What size is crushed stone? Inch and a half, three, six inches? Inch, inch and a half crushed stone. Uh, it's brought up right to the ground surface. So now there's a plan for the water and there's a plan to have a safe septic system where before, as you know, it was a, a free-for-all, you know? I mean, free-for-all, free for it's it. The only thing I'm saying is, I know you guys don't know the property and... No, I know, the, I, I know the property and we're trying to, un we want you to feel comfortable oh, and I'll, understand I'll, it. So no, we're I, trying to say... I'm just telling you that yeah. in the matter, in the springtime, uh, after in the fall, even, yeah. even over the winter, that whole backyard is filled up with this much water. Yeah. So you've had it before. Mm -hmm. You just told me it, it's happening when they start it. So no, you have it in the fall. In no, it, it happens right here. What, what all, 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 this is the house right here. Right. All over here. Well, the, and the, you got the weather back, back here. Right. It just fills up with this much water. And, and, that's, and that's why the goal but of this project is to move. replace the cesspool, which is sitting in that wetland and sitting in that water, to a Title V compliant system in the front which right. isn't associated with either the weapons across the street or behind the house. No, I, I, I know what you're saying. And I understand that the ball will want to go this way. Fine, it'll work for now. But what I'm saying is, this got nothing to do with the cesspool. It's got nothing to do with nothing. This is just groundwater. This is just groundwater that sits there. So what, but what are so you, this, what are you worried water, about? What's like, name your worry. worry about, yeah. All this going to do is this, this water is going to, it's not going to go nowhere. It's just going to sit there. That water, I, get, I promise you, I'm not even, I'm not even yeah. tell you, I'm going to promise you that that water in my, instead of this, this little puddle, that little puddle. You think it's going to be worse? Oh, it's going to be tremendous. Worse. Even though now there's a plan for the water? This water, this water right now is when the it's starting to dry up. Yeah. It's that one that got rainfall. Now what's going to happen when it snows and it melts? All that's going to fill up with water, and it's going to have to go back there. And it's not going to be able to go back there because over there is going to be overflowed with water, anyways. So if the water's got the water's going to be the water out back is going to be too deep for this water to go. And I'm, I'm you know, yeah. you, 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 I mean, if you guys are going to pass, you're going to pass. I understand. No, no, we're and trying I, to hear I, what you're worried about and make you feel better about it. No, so, I yeah, there's, there's nothing really. <laughs> it's nothing really you can be worried about. It's just, you know, what I mean, it's just. It's just, it's just going to be a big, huge thing of water there, up until, up until like in maybe uh, May, 
Yeah. They may throw the stars to dry out, and then the subject tank will be fine. That would have, you know what I mean? Yeah. But from um, October, November, it just starts to fill up, and it just, you know what I mean? I think, I, I, like I said, I'm not gonna sit here, I mean, you guys, granted, they, they have to be, the house, has to have a, a second thing. So right, a well, safe I'm, one instead right, of what it had simple. before that was coming into you well, know the ground. If, 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 I don't. I, to be honest, with you, I wouldn't even care if there was a mound back then because well, I, they, I don't think they'd do it anyways. Yeah. I, I, I would say a tight tank. Okay. That's, that's the only. That's the only way because I mean even now with all this water here, I, this guy, this guy that lived there before, he couldn't even come in his house because there was so much water. Yeah, yeah. And I, I got more, you know, here of all the crushed stone that he put there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, things are looking up for that property. You know, it's going to get better. Where before, what you were well, living. Gonna it's going to get better because no. I, I, I spoke with the, the, to the, what do you call it? I mean, I spoke mm -hmm. to the, um, to the contractor that was on it. Yeah. And he said, you know, it's going to get better. Yeah. Because 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 it's that's well, that's good. we're well, only here to talk about that's, yeah. that's building. That's building. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, right. That's okay. I mean, the only thing we're trying to do is make right. this safe. That the conservation the is the one that deals with the wetlands and all that. Right. Not, so, not, I mean, not, a lot of what your concerns are right. is but to be voiced with them. You're saying, she was telling me that it'll be a better home. There. They, they don't plan to. They don't plan to beside the house. If the paint is in the house, the, the well, I, no, I didn't say better home, but it's just that the property is being managed instead of just being this kind of, you know, Let what, go. free for all. Well, so, it would have put a few more that go on that team. My name and I would have bought it, we yeah, it yeah. all grass and just left, left it alone and knocked yeah. the house down. And but the only thing is, just, it's like, and it's now, I know that I'm a builder myself, oh, yeah, and I know that after. She's going to be putting so much money in this home that she's going to oversee what she's doing. You know what I mean? So it's not, that's her. It's not that's her do. decision. No, I know, but it's not. It's not but then, then you don't have to. I will. I'm not going to. That's, we don't know the future, and wow. it's nice that you're concerned about what's happening. So you have three. You have three boxes. You have us. We're here for the septic building. You got to talk to them, and conservation for the plants. So at least tonight you can leave knowing that this is safe the bacteria is shut in right. you know and it's this is you well, know i know the septic tank that's yeah i mean it would be safe yeah but what i'm saying is it's all the all the damage the other damage that will be doing is like number one it's going to be right by this solid that's all we're doing i'm not sure if it's going to go in it or not i don't know yeah. but and then we, on my side there's going to be a big pond or a deep one now, instead of being this deep it's going to be this deep because he's going to have a two-foot wall. All the water that's sitting on his property will not be sitting on his property because now his property is high. And it's going to, like I said, it's going to sit right, right there on my property line. And it's going to, and if, there's no, if, if the water can't go way out back because it's, got, it's filled up too high, and then it's just going to sit where it is. And it's going to be enough of mosquitoes. I mean, this is my, 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 my granddaughter. She's got walks. I mean, she, she doesn't take mosquito bites as well. Yeah. But she's got walks all over. But, they play right there, and that's where the mosquitoes, and that's where mosquitoes bite up. You know, I mean, I, I've got a, I've got a good, piece of good size. Well, it sounds, it sounds like you're, you're, you're worried about the building, and you're worried about the wetlands. Right. Well, so right. I, I, I think you should definitely speak with the building department and go back to I, the I, conservation. I, I, I have. I've, yep. I've, I've got emails. They don't need to email me back. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. we, we can't control well, those know, boards. No, I, yeah. I know that. I it's know very that. frustrating. I mean, we're only... Yep. Um, I'm, just, I'm just telling you that, I mean... You're frustrated. Yes, it's, 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 yep. it's, it's, it's safe and everything like that. But what I'm saying to you is, I'll come back to you guys next year. <laughs> and I'm going to say, I'm going to go to take pictures. And you're going to see all this water just sitting there. Mm. And it, it's just going to be, it, you know... This is what you guys can do. I mean, granted, no, there's no, no, excuse me, I mean, no, 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 no waste, no poison coming out of it. Probably not. But like I said, this is going to be a big thing of water. I think what we have to go on as a board is the engineers licensed by the state of Massachusetts has come up with a plan to make something better than what is there. Right. You have a concern. It's a legitimate concern. The town is a concern. He's come up with something that works. Unfortunately, if it gets approved tonight, it, 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 it'll get built and you'll have to see what happens. No. If something happens and you, and you can say that's the change, 
then they maybe you've got another avenue to travel on. That I don't know. But uh, they can be big money to, to go I, after the I don't know that. I don't know that. As far as I'm concerned, the engineers proposed something that he says is going to work. The so, conservation's written off that these aren't wetlands and, and knows the plan, too. And so. I, I get your concerns. They're legitimate, but I've got a licensed engineer here that's come up with something that, that works. And as far as he's saying, it's his stamp right. over there. With his so you want to be responsible, so if you want to go to his cellar. As far as we're concerned, we're trusting his well, professional it. license. And you're comfortable with that? Mm -hmm. All three of these properties are located in the floodplain. They all flood currently. Mm -hmm. They will all flood in the future. This is a septic system that's designed in the United States. Unfortunately, we it down. No, I can get it. It's just that, you know what I'm saying? It's, we, he doesn't have no problem with water down on, on his side, on Stephen doesn't. I don't, you know, we just did that one little corner there, and that's, you know what I mean? Like, like I said, I know, and I, I mean, I'm, I understand you guys. Like, hey, listen, he, he's got his license, he's got that, he's responsible for it, and he says it's going to work, it's going to work. You know, so my thing is, yes, it, I, I bet it probably would, would work, but I'm just worried about all the water that's going to be. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, that's a situation. Well, you're on record for saying that. The yep. meetings are recorded. There are minutes to the meeting, so. Well, it's good. It's good that you came and that you talked about it. And definitely, it sounds like you need to visit, go back to conservation and the building department. Right. Well, I I, I get the appeal, and I do have a, a what do you call it, a um, health consultant. He just could be here. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I just uh, I I I I really don't understand. I mean, like I I know a lot of people that build too, and like I know a gentleman that he ended up uh, buying a piece of property. He ended up. Get the, get the approved for a septic tank uh, something. Um, and what he did is he turned around and there was a lot of water around that area and he turned around you get a, you get a uh, piece of paper saying that you can build a, you can put a septic tank on there and he ended up selling and the people that bought the house had a hell of a time building a house on there but and I'm not sure that's what's going on here. As long as the house comes with a with a with a title five that they're all set to do and they'll give I think the owner and, and uh, the engineer have been through the boards and they've come before us twice. It's, it's no, conservation twice. Yeah, it's open. There's nothing there that anybody's trying to do. It, it, it's his license. Like I said, it's his license. And he's licensed in the state of Massachusetts, so we have to recognize that. Yeah, and they're abiding by conservation. You know, they're, they're going through the steps that are in place. No, I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm just... Yeah. For myself, and I mean, I bet any, anybody, any of you guys will do the same. Yep. I mean, I'm not, I get nothing against you. I'm just saying that, you know, I'm just fighting for That's something that, that the, I, you know, I mean, I'm just trying to help my family out and try to, you know, hopefully they don't help us out to play off the back after the, you know, and like I said, I will come back next year. I won't forget. I'm going to come back next year. If you got it passed, <laughs> I kind of, I do have a question on the way. Well, I'll come back with a bunch of pictures. All right. I'm say, what happened? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Move to approve the septic repair plan and local upgrades request that that include reduction in the setback between SAS and the foundation wall from the required 20 foot to 14 foot. Reduction in the setback between the septic tank and pump chamber and the water service from the required 10 foot to 3 foot. Number three, use of sieve analysis instead of perk test. Number four, reduction in the setback between the drain, swale slash trench and the septic tank and pump chamber from the required 5 feet to 3 feet and with the following variances requested. Reduction in the setback between the septic tank and pump chamber and the property line from the required 10 feet to seven feet. Number two, reduction in the setback between the SAS and the property line from the required 10 feet to seven feet. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Yep. All right. Excuse me, one moment. If I want to put a 10 inch thick wall, three and a half feet long, five feet below grade and five feet above, would I see this board or the conservation? Uh, 10 inch wide board right. reinforced. Yeah, I don't think it would be our board. No. What's that? I don't think it would be us. That'd be conservation. Okay, thank okay. you very much. Yeah. Thanks very much for your time. You've been great. Conservation and building. Thank problem. you very much. Yeah.
Well, you're very welcome. Thank you. All right. Next, discuss and vote septic system design hearing 761 Country Way, Morse Engineering. Uh, representing homeowner request for insulation of septic tank requiring local upgrades and variances. Good evening. Uh, again, for the record, Gregory Morse, registered engineer, Morse Engineering. Uh, this is a septic system upgrade at 761 Country Way. This is the little white building in North Central across from Mary Blues. It used to be Dottie's Cleaners in the past. Um, it's been offices in the past. Uh, the second floor of the building has two one-bedroom apartments on it. Uh, right now, the building is serviced by a cesspool located behind that property. Uh, the property is rather small. It's approximately 2,760 square feet. Uh, what we're proposing to do is to put in a new septic system. Uh, the new septic system would be a septic tank in the back of the building, and then one 54-foot long uh, crushed stone leaching trench. Uh, requires a number of local upgrade approvals, and it requires two Title V variances, which is what brings us before you tonight. We did notify both the butters to the property, uh, one being the MBTA, the other one being the Hopkins property, which is an auto body shop um, in the front, I believe, the new vape shop. Um, the property line here is shown in bold country ways at the bottom of the page. The existing building is right here. So what you'll see on the plan is there's an area out back, um, approximately 34 feet by 20 feet. That's a rear yard that gives us room to fit the system. Uh, the existing cesspool is right here. Essentially in the same location, we're putting in a new septic tank. Um, because of the mixed uses in the building, the septic tank is required to be a two compartment tank, which is what we propose, a 1,500 gallon two compartment tank. Coming off of that tank, we have a distribution box and then a crushed stone leaching trench 54 feet in total length um, that you'll see comes down, goes over six feet toward the lot line, comes back, comes over six feet toward the building, and then comes back. Uh, the local upgrade approval requests um, are with respect to setbacks. Um, 10 foot's the minimum required setback for the soil absorption system from the property line. We're asking for a minimum of two feet from the edge of the crushed stone trench to the rear lot line. Um, two feet's the minimum distance. Secondly, we're asking for a reduction from 10 feet to five feet between the septic tank and the property line. It's located on the side property line here and the septic tank. Thirdly, a reduction from 10 feet to 8 feet proposed between the soil absorption system and the slab foundation. Um, that foundation is the foundation to the abutting property, the auto body shop, uh, formerly Allen's Auto. The next one was a reduction from 10 feet to 3.1 feet between the septic tank and the slab foundation of our building. The septic tank would be 3 feet off of our building. The next setback um, was a 25% size reduction in the soil absorption system area. That's a local upgrade approval uh, that is requested. And then due to the confined area that we had, we only dug one test pit in this area. We're asking for a local upgrade approval to allow only one deep hole um, in this area. You'll see that there is a gas line that traverses this backyard. Uh, it goes, I believe, to the WPA building up back. There was the existing cesspool, and then it's a rather tight area, anyway, so we were limited on one test uh, Concurrent with the local upgrade approvals, there are two variances. Uh, one of them is a reduction in the groundwater table. We're asking for a reduction uh, from five feet from the bottom of the soil absorption system down to four feet. The soil here was very good. It was a loamy sand. Uh, it was less than two minutes per inch for the perk test. Um, typically, you can't ask for a groundwater reduction and the size reduction at the same time. But in this scenario, we have limited, um, limited area to accommodate those. So we're asking for that as a variance. Uh, and secondly, a reduction in the amount of overdig around the subject. Typically, the overdig is a five-foot overdig, uh, and five feet will be achieved on the majority of the system. I would say as much as 75% of the system would have a five-foot overdig. 
It's just that along the back lot line where the system is only two feet off the lot line, we're proposing a two foot over dig along that back edge of the system. Um, without these variances, this would likely be a Titanic scenario. Um, it's a very tight scenario. <laughs> Ken, do you have any concerns? Um, well, I, the plan was submitted, originally submitted on the 17th. Um, I sent um, Greg um, review comments um, just recently on Thursday, July 26th, at the very end of the day. Um, so we submitted the revised today um, to address all of the administrative comments um, that I had provided. Not had a chance to look at them. Um, so I can't speak to it. see it now I, I I have my full faith in the engineer and general viewing and it's a tight one right yeah. and uh, you're doing the best you can so uh, I mean as far as your review goes it looks pretty good now I've got a couple of questions so I, I have no issue with yeah. it probably and will not in two weeks so right um, but it's probably uh, you see good the right thing to to review a little further do you want to make that motion I can make that motion all okay. right are there any butters no butters no nope. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, move to continue the hearing for the septic repair plan with the variances and local upgrades requested until the meeting schedule for August 13th, 2018. Second. 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 Right? Second. I'm yeah. third, aren't I? <laughs> Second. Second. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank okay. you very much. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right. Moving along, discuss and vote non-compliance of required septic system operation and maintenance contract 40 Cliff Road South, McBride. And I don't think anyone's here. Um, so we received a letter from the previous operations and maintenance contract provider dated March 26, 2018, indicating that, this is, that the contract for the system had not been renewed. renewed. Uh, we sent letters to the trustee for the system on May 14th, um, which was received and signed for, indicating that this was required for the Title V system to remain in compliance. Um, we received no updated contract. We sent a second letter on uh, July 5th, 2018, which was undelivered. Uh, we confirmed as recently as Friday that the ownership of the property remains the same. Um, so, uh, as I've done in the in the past, I've drafted um, a couple of motions for your consideration. Um, I'll draw your attention to the one um, that I typically draft for folks who choose to not be present. 
um, and that is that you know we would have the owner served um, with an order indicating that they're required to reinstate within 21 days, um, giving us time to again attempt to try to get this to them. It's a little difficult since the owners are located in Wheel, um, so uh, we'll have to figure out a way to reach them. Has yet to work already, um, and then you know, looking ahead, unfortunately, you know, we would be talking about a condemnation hearing for something as simple as a outstanding operations and maintenance contract, which they failed to comply. One. Oh, okay, one question: Isn't there sewer up there? Uh, no. This is um, this is Hummer. Oh, it's that kind of, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind going over. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I understand. There was two cliffs. That's why I was like, wait a minute. I think this yeah. one. Yeah, but I do understand. Yep. About the maintenance. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. I just, uh, let me say, uh, don't mind revisiting because uh, I always learn something new. And, and it's Thank you. To, um, uh, no matter how long you've been around, <laughs> there's always something that you say. Yeah. New eyes. New eyes. No. That's it's, right. That's right. So anyway, so everybody's good that we, we follow through. So um, I'll make a motion. Uh, move to have the owner of the septic system serving the property located 40 Cliff Road South served with an order to reinstate the required operation maintenance contract for the system within 21 days of this hearing and provide a signed copy of the contract to the Board of Health Office upon execution. This order will document the failure to do so will result in a subsequent hearing before the Board of Health and may lead to enforcement including determining that the system is failure and possible condemnation of the property. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Take a note, please. <laughs> Take a note. Give those cue cards. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go back to this. <coughs> Director's report. You don't have to put that in the minutes. <laughs> <laughs> She's thorough. Yeah, I know. She is. She is. Yeah. <laughs> I hope she got what was recording off the phone out there. <laughs> okay. Um, so, as usual, we have a lot going on. Um, we have a two page director's report for you. Um, first, I would like to officially congratulate Joan, um, who was. Um, last week promoted to the Assistant Director of Public Health. Um, so she is learning all of the inspections and letter writing and all of those things as the time goes by. Um, Congratulations. Congratulations. Well deserved. Well deserved, well deserved yeah. and needed, yeah. So, uh, so she's uh, been going up, she's already been out for pool inspections with us. Um, yep, camp inspection, so pretty timely and she very quickly getting her feet wet and all sorts of towels that aren't already wet. I like that feet wet. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not in failed title five. Yeah, <laughs> stay out of those. <laughs> so you rent your shoes off. <laughs> inspection shoes. That's what we have. We have inspection shoes. Um, so in terms of the topics that we cover, um, I've got uh, two different sets of food inspections because I've written this in two separate occasions. Uh, 20 inspections were conducted between uh, July 2nd and July 12th. Uh, they include two pre-operation inspections and two re-inspections. Critical violations observed during that time included uh, no, hand, uh, no sanitizer, food not being maintained in proper holding temperatures, uh, no person in charge, uh, allergen or choke safe trained person on premise while open, could not be serviced, uh, food not dated and labeled, uh, no hot water and hand sink, ice machine being dirty, cooler and freezer cluttered, food not stored properly in terms of what goes on top of what, um, and food uncovered and therefore not protected from uh, cross contamination. Um, an additional 28 inspections were conducted between uh, July 18th and July 19th. Those include one pre operation inspection and two re inspection. Um, critical violation during that 
period of time was limited to food not being held in apartment temperatures. Um, we are um, prepping for heritage days to say the very least. Yeah. Um, we have a record number of food vendors to permit and inspect for this year's event. We are at, I believe, exactly 30. Um, so we are working um, diligently with the chamber, each of the individual vendors, and within our team uh, to be prepared for Saturday um, as we conduct the inspection this Saturday morning and issue permits, um, assuming that they pass the inspection the morning of um, day one of um, food sales at Heritage Days. Um, it's been a pretty busy camp season for us. Um, we've permitted and inspected three camps, two of which um, have worked with us since the last meeting, um, two one-week camps. Um, uh, so to the best of my knowledge, they were successful. They served uh, quite a large number of kids, um, and all to the best of my knowledge went well. Um, we have three active nuisance cases. Um, we received new four new complaints since the last meeting. We've been able to close a couple out, um, gain a couple, so ultimately we have three active. Um, we have two private well applications in review, uh, the first of which was received on July 12th, the second of which was received on July 19th. Um, we conducted pool inspections last week. Um, like food inspections, pool inspections are also unannounced, um, and we're currently conducting um, laboratory reporting follow-up as part of the permit process each lab is required each pool is required to submit samples for laboratory analysis um, every other month that they're open so we're in the process of making sure that um, the post opening lab results are received and are um, uh, acceptable um, beaches um, as a reminder, we sample every Tuesday. Um, we report the results from Tuesday every Wednesday. Um, thankfully, last week's results looked pretty good. Um, we have seen some of the beaches creeping up a little bit, um, but they're still within both the individual sampling um, allowable number of 104 colonies, um, and also within the geo mean requirement of 35. So we'll. Um, Sampling in tomorrow and get those results on Wednesday and hope the best. Had a lot of offshore too. Cold water. Mm -hmm. oh, all right, <laughs> we're going for clean. Going good health. Blows that top stuff off, brings it fresh on Good, we need it. Cold. Though. Hopefully, it doesn't bring the sharks. Uh, just have one here and sit right off the other day. <laughs> just a small one. Yeah. Only a ten footer, right? Ten footer. Um, we have uh, one new housing case since the last meeting, um, leaving us with six active cases at the moment. Um, we are in the process of writing um, a year-end, actually a couple of year-end grant reports, um, one of which is due tomorrow. Um, we're also working on a response for proposals for a mass housing grant um, for FY19. Um, and we're lucky enough to get it for, I believe, the fourth year, maybe? Um, you know, we'll be able to continue some of the um, positive uh, activities that we're able to do to focus on morning providing learning resources. Um, we continue to track five environmental releases. Um, in terms of septic, um, we have processed a large number of certificates of compliance in the last week. Um, we currently don't have any in the queue for review by us. Uh, there are certainly certificates of compliance that are outstanding. You know, we're waiting for others to provide us with appropriate documentation or signatures, um, but there are none in the queue for us to review as of tonight. Um, there are two new plans currently in the review queue that have been received since July 10th. Um, and we currently have three revised plans in review which have been received since July 23rd. Um, the one outstanding operation and maintenance contract related repair um, that we're working with the um, maintenance contractor on. Um, we have three outstanding operations and maintenance contracts, um, one of which was discussed tonight. Um, we have closed two since the last meeting. Um, and then we have 17 septic systems either conditionally passing or in failure. Of those, two have approved plans. Um, two plans are in review. Two are um, 
in the process of getting their certificates of compliance, and five have no occupancy orders in place. So, I think for most of them, things are moving along positively. Others will potentially may come before you in the future. And that's what I've done. Can't predict that. <laughs> okay. First of all. No, I don't. Christmas. Try to keep tabs on, Christmas, keep yeah. tabs on all of them and, and keep them moving forward. I ain't all time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Discuss septic benement program. So I provided you with an updated summary of the state guidance document. Um, if you recall, um, I was able to provide you with a summary document of that 90 some odd page document um, through page 29. Since the last meeting, we've updated the summary document um, to capture the entire state guidance. Um, my comments and questions are embedded in it, um, reference to particular pages are in it, um, and documentation of how to coordinate amongst all the various departments and state agencies is also documented.
Sometimes it gets you in trouble too. <laughs> at the work we've been doing? Are they... Yep, she and I have been um, in communication off and on in the last several weeks as we continue to progress and she continues to progress and we keep each other updated as we each go along with our responsibilities. Mm -hmm. you know, once I have a good list of either questions or things to review with her, I'll come sit down with her in detail um, and go over them all at once so that we're people have a, a cohesive meaning as opposed to yeah. disconnected questions off and on. So at this point are you, uh, are we just rediscussing this or I read this, so what are you reading? For? So um, basically, if you have questions, comments, um, documents for us as we start to draft um, things for your review, that's what we're did, for. The only question I had, did we find out, remember, about the $76 with the registry of deeds? I know it's, it says in here, the homeowner, but does that all come back into this thing or is that totally separate? So. That's one of the many list of questions and um, things to determine that I've embedded into the outline. Okay. Um, so my, again, my thought was, you know, if I can come up with a comprehensive list of questions, I can give those questions to each of the appropriate people to answer them, as opposed to you know, firing Five, off random, one. random ones here and there. Okay. So that is on there. Then. So it is. Yeah, it is on there in terms of is it a reimbursable cost or not. I think some of the application fees, you know, I'd hate to see that eat up some of the funds that could actually help, you know, go towards repairing or, or putting in a new septic system. I just don't, you know, I don't know. It's a lot of money, period. But I'd like to see the money be spread to as many people as possible rather than, you know, everything, I don't know how you guys feel, but everything refundable just to X amount of people. Right. I mean, you have to, as a homeowner, absorb some costs. Um, yeah, because you can go to four people or six people where you might be able to get people yeah I, I just think it. there's such a need for this and I also think it's going to be in high demand so you know if we do come up with a um, flow chart or whatever of how people fall into the eligibility categories it almost might need to be a lottery even at that level I mean do you find that I find a lot of people need I don't know it's going to be interesting to see how it pans out um, I know the program is in place in a minute Away. Yeah, there yeah. There wasn't any um, real use for it, so it'll be it'll be interesting, you know. Yeah. It's a good tool. It's good for the town to have, I suppose. Oh yeah, yeah. If uh, if it's needed, it's great. The past. Yeah. Some people must have been thinking. Yeah. Um, the question too about it rolling over to the new homeowner. I saw something in here about it with the deed. Um, you know, the betterments now for sidewalks and. Um, Sewer rollover, so I don't know why this one would be exempt. I believe that's a decision that more than likely the treasurer collector would yeah. provide and put in. Yeah. Yeah, I would think as long as the new homeowner is aware that your, uh, you know, your principal and interest payment, and, and you got this betterment and then this betterment, they got to be aware that it's there in their mortgage payment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, how you gonna make it? Can you do it? Yeah. And not a hidden cost that, well, wait a minute, I didn't know I was getting that. Yeah, well, you have to disclose if there's an outstanding betterment. So, um. 
Yeah, I would think that would come out in the, uh, when the, the title audit, list. so it would be in the title search. So the attorney should pick that up and say, hey, you know, yeah. by the way. <laughs> One more pill. <laughs> yeah. It's a whopper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have a bit of a problem. I think everything. Yeah, it's rolling right along. Good job. All right, so we'll um, so we'll work to um, create the list of questions for the appropriate people, whether they're internal departments or external resources, like DEB. Um, we'll also work towards. Um, creating drafts of some of those forms, because um, as you see, there's a lengthy list of forms and paperwork um, that needs to be available for each and every house. Um, so we can come up with the templates for those um, for your review, and then that priority list, how do you want to prioritize based on expected numbers of applicants to be determined. Yeah, I think it's a fallback. That that's, so, yeah, has to be there. Yeah, I mean, uh, Just for the protection of the public water supply above anything else. And, and Joan and I were talking about um, uh, one aspect of the priority list, um, and that is that um, in order to participate in the program at all, you have to provide essentially a Title V inspection. That automatically puts you on a state timeline for repair, whether you get to be part of the betterment program or not. Right. So the people who present the board um, with their failed Title V have taken the risk of saying, hi, I have a failed system, can I mm -hmm. help? Mm -hmm. So I think maybe as part of the checklist, what she and I were discussing in terms of numbers of points and ranking, you know, who participates, is let's say, for example, we have 10 applicants, assuming that you choose to review them on a semi-annual or quarterly basis as opposed to a rolling basis, first come, first serve, um, assuming that you do it the first way, um, we were thinking that maybe it makes sense to give some ranking points for people who come in in a given round, let's say our initial round, mm -hmm. um, but because we can only help eight people, we only want to, you only want to give four loans in this first round because you want to see what happens in the next six months for the second round. Right. That those other four people who didn't get in this round get some sort of level of priority and extra ranking points when they come in the second round. Um, so that they're already in the queue right. and that at least right. some of them are served so that they're not putting themselves out there saying I have a failed system, but yes, I need help, and uh-oh, now I'm not gonna get any help, and I'm still on the hook for fixing my system within the Title V allotted time frame. So we were kind of thinking of that through, maybe that's not the best way to do it, but some sort of um, preference or understanding that people who are in the queue deserve some level of priority right. um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for consideration. Something like that. I agree. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that you could have like a blind application process otherwise. Right. Yep, we can absolutely have it blind, and then the second time it would come before you, yep. um, that blind house would have, I don't know, two extra ranking points. So instead of a total score of, I don't know, 16, their score would be 18. But so would the clock that. start if it was a blind applicant that you didn't? Well, we would know. Yeah, yeah. I would know. Yeah. Because I'd be the one putting together the application packages yeah. and presenting them. You wouldn't know who I would be presenting to you. Because it's up to us as the agents to present to you yeah. um, each of the applications. So they wouldn't be blind to us, but they would be blind to you. And you are the ones making the decision, so it really only matters if they're blind to you. If you, if you choose to do it in a blind fashion. It should be, then there's no interest. No, no. Now, with Russell not here next meeting, would it 
matter on the discussing forms if you have forms ready? Or would you rather discuss. do it? The group can still discuss, discuss if you so choose. And then make votes. Um, you just wouldn't be able to vote on anything. Right. And we're not in that place. But okay. if you want to, to keep it consistent so that you're all here each time we discuss, we can defer that to the. Oh, I would say continue people. on and uh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Even if we rehash it, at least you're, uh, it's forward progress. And yeah. I would still email the, you know, the documents to you, even though you aren't here. Mm -hmm. You can email them so you can keep up with what we would be discussing in the next week. Okay, so yeah, we'll keep no, on uh, the agenda. Carry on, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll wait for you. We <laughs> Put my little Muppet caricature here. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Any uh, things from the audience? Anything, Mr. McDonough? Anything or? I spoke with Pat Rogers from the DDP. He uh, he wrote the septic betterment program. Uh, he'd be happy to help. I don't know why someone doesn't contact him, and he would help you. He'd walk you right through. Him. So he, he has been helpful already in the past, okay. um, but I think it makes sense to, you know, speaking to DEP, it makes sense to reach out to him and to all of the parties that would be assisting with one cohesive list of questions rather than calling him multiple times with one or two, two questions, questions at a time. I think it's a better use of his time. Same thing um, I think we mentioned with the treasurer. For internally, right. exactly, right. So, that, so that it's a comprehensive discussion as opposed to, you know, Series of random right. Right, questions I, without context. I believe um, the betterment loan actually takes the first position, in, 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 uh, in the sale of the house. The second taxes, then the, the, the betterment takes the first position for this particular program. Oh, oh, it does. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, over the mortgage and everything else. Over yeah, the mortgage and everything else, and that the money that is um, funded is each year the board, uh, the, the town can go to the town meeting and request money. That it's not like you have to wait for the 200000 to be paid back to then give other people help with their septic system betterments. So it's, it's not just a one-time uh, amount of money. And if by say three people this year need help, then the town only borrows what that was. It's not two hundred thousand right now that the town's on. The maximum the town meeting voted on was two hundred thousand. But if more is needed, more can be provided by the state. Through a vote of town meeting. Either for a vote of town meeting or if it's an environmental impact. Um, the town can borrow money and the homeowner pays it back with the interest. And that so, would seem very reasonable, especially if the program was working. I mean, why wouldn't right. the yeah. town folk go for that if the payments are coming in and the money's sure? Yeah. Well, that's why, you know, when I spoke to DEP and I spoke to um, Mr. Pat Rogers, you know, this is off, this is an awful lot of, of extra work being done here when it's pretty much drawn out and written out as to how the system and the program works. So I mean, basically, you know, I'm not saying you're wasting my time or your time, it's just, it's a, it's a very well-functioning program that's been in, in effect for a number of years. And as you know, we had it here in Situate, um, I believe back in 1995, granted people weren't using it, but now that there is a need for it, you know it's it's uh, it's it's pretty much um, pretty much a well-run program. I, I talked to the uh, board of health in the town of Easton, who uses the program quite a bit, and you know they even said if you need to call him, uh, call him. They'll help you. I think we had Easton's yeah. stuff, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. yeah, we had stuff from all towns, and every town's got their little nuances. Right. So they, they're every all town's around different. They're all a little different. So that there is no boilerplate, and that's right. what we're yeah. And we had our own one from situate from '95. Right. That we 
reviewed, and one of the things right. that I took from that was the uh, the priority list. Thank right. you. <laughs> but, um, I've been told that. So, yeah, understood what you're saying, and, and uh, but we just want to make sure we uh, do it for the town of Situate and, and you know, oh, absolutely. with our people and everybody. So we, it, it's a slow process. It's the wheels of government, but it, it, it's moving forward. So. And I agree with you. I I think it's a high priority for what I see in the community. I, there's a huge need. There's That's more than a huge need for it. It's, yeah. it's, 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 a, it's a great program um, provided by the state and by, at the federal level. So I, I don't see why we're not using it uh, to the benefit of the entire town for the, for the people that need it. Well, I'm going to get there. Get okay. Good. Anything else, or that's it? Thank you for the Thank input. Thank you. That's what I have right now. All right. Administrative invoice approvals. Oh, I thought that was the green folder. Oh, no. Our whole budget at once. Sit down. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, a question that we that we thought of and have to get the answer to. All right. I wonder if the approval in one vote with the stipulation of the understood one board member is no longer a board member. All right. Make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.